Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been so long since my last video and we're transitioning away from Halloween looks. Um, so I want to do a easy day to night time transition look. I want to show you guys how to transition this look into this. So if you're interested in watching a day to night transition video, go ahead and keep on watching. Off camera, I've already done my foundation and my primer. So what I used is the Fenty Beauty foundation in the shade 190. It's the Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. And then also the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, the one that I always use. First thing I'm gonna do is just use the Cabral in shade four and do my brows. You just want to go in upward strokes so you can create faux brow hairs. You want to go pretty light-handed in the front area just so it's not too dark. Soap helps expedite the process by so much, it's crazy. Taking the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Soft Ochre, I'm just going to go ahead and clean my brows and prime my lids. And just bring that a little bit here and also feather that out with your finger. You want to do one eye at a time because it does dry pretty fast. And with just a clean, fluffy brush, you're gonna run a bone color. This one is from the Nude Beach palette. The shade is brilliant. Adding it down to set that. From the Meat Matrimony palette from the Balm, I'm gonna take the shade Matte Evans and pat that on my crease. It's gonna be our transition color. I'm bringing that a little bit towards my nose bridge so I can kind of create the illusion of a more pinched nose. Next I'm going to take a fluffy brush, it's a little bit more dense than uh, the one that we we're just using, and go into the shade Bold from the Nude Beach palette and go into the crease. Really neutral and easy. The bottom lash line, you're just gonna smoke that out with this brown shadow, same shade. And once again, it doesn't need to be precise. It's really nice to always have a clean blending brush on hand just so that you can quickly smoke out anything or blend any harsh lines that you see. So next I'm gonna take a bronze shade and this one is from my custom balm palette. It's gonna be this shade right here. And I'm gonna mix a little bit of Dreamer from the Tartlet 2 palette. You just bouncing the two colors back and forth. I'm gonna go ahead and smoke out my lash line. And I'm gonna take that bronze shade and bring it down too. Kind of creating a little bit of a angle here just to make it look a little bit more snatched. I'm going to take a brown liner. This one is from CoverGirl and it's in the shade Espresso. It's the perfect point plus, but any brown liner will do. And I'm going to just go ahead and line my waterline. What I like about this specific liner is that I can actually smoke it out with the other end. So there's a smudge side and all you do is just bring out the liner so you can smudge it out. So next, I actually picked up this My Little Pony palette from ColourPop, and it's my first time using it. Just got it in today. Their packaging is so cute. I'm living for it. I'm gonna take this Sigma eyeliner brush, take the shade Minty, and then just bring it in my inner corner. So using a more defined pencil brush, I'm gonna just bring that shade in. 
I'm gonna take this white one with the sparkle in it. Makes it a slightly more bluish color with just a flat brush. I'm gonna take this shade right here. I just wanted to make it a little bit more purple. I'm just gonna take that on my lower lash line too, just to blend it all in. I'm just gonna curl my lashes. I take my mascara, it's called What's Your Type from the Balm, and I'm gonna just run that through. This is like a daytime, more daytime look, so you don't have to wear lashes, faux lashes with it, or you can if you want. Let me put some concealer on. This concealer is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewinder in the shade Neutralizer. And I'll just blend that out with a beauty blender. Take my Laura Mercier powder and just set that in. And I'm not going too heavy handed with this one. I just like to dust that, blending everything in together. I'm gonna take this contour brush from BH Cosmetics and go into the Kat Von D shade and light palette and just lightly contour my face. I like to use a middle shade, clearly. So just pat it in versus strokes. Bring some on your temples and the hairline. And just down my jawline and the middle of my neck. I'm going to go into the MAC Give Me Sun Skin Finisher and lightly bronze my cheeks. I like to bring a little bit on my forehead too just to give me a sun-kissed look. I'm going to take the BH Cosmetic Nude Blush Palette. I think I want to go for like a corally, coral color, so something in between these two I would say. I sometimes just like to bounce back and forth in it and just lightly pounce the brush over my cheeks and over my nose area too. Using the Lime Crime Highlights palette in the shade Opals, I'm going to take the pink color and just lightly dust my cheeks. Using a normal champagne color, I'm going to take that on the tip of my nose, down the bridge a bit, over my cupid's bow, a little on the chin, on my brow bone, and on the top of my brow. I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm, which is my all-time fave, because it smells so good and I just love the color on it. it gives your lips a, like really juicy look. This is look number one. It's a more casual look that you can wear during the daytime and look put together but a slight pop of color just on the inner corner here. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I turn this look into a nighttime look. So what I'm going to do is take this plum shade right here and put that on my lid we're going to make this a more party time look. So using this pencil brush, I'm going to go into the Tartlet 2 palette and go into the shade Bombshell, which is a really deep eggplant color. And quickly just put that on my lower lash line. Go into the shade Best Friend and just slightly bring that up into my crease. With a black liner this time, this one's from Marc Jacobs, the Highliner Gel Crayon. I'm gonna go ahead and just tight line my lash line again, or my waterline. Bottom side two. Using just a flat liner brush, I'm gonna go into the shade Princess Sparkle from the ColourPop line and just quickly smoke out that lash line. 
It looks like it's a black shade, but it's actually really deep purple with a little bit of sparkles in it. I'm just gonna wing out this edge. I like to go a little bit more heavy handed because I don't want my face to look washed out in photos. So using an angled brush, I'm gonna go into the medium and the deepest shade of the contour palette and then just lightly press that in. And make sure to bring some out into your ear and jawline. If you wanna add a little bit more bronzer, go ahead and just press that on. Today I'm gonna to be using a Fullerty pair of lashes and they're from Beach Cosmetics. They're the style M202. Hopefully they still have them. Last time I checked they were sold out, but any Fullerty pair of lashes will complete this look. I'm gonna just go ahead and use the shade Lulu in this Lime Crime lip liquid lipstick. I'm also going to take the shade Gigi, which is a little bit more purple, and put that in the corners. And just using the Fenty Gloss Balm, I'm going to go over that. When you use a liquid lipstick underneath gloss, it's going to last a lot longer, so if you're going to be drinking or if you're going to be going out and eating, it's going to last a lot longer than just throwing on a gloss on top of your natural lips. When I go from daytime to nighttime, I also like to use more highlighter. So I'm going to use this, the Balm Manizer Sisters palette, and I'm going to use a champagne color and just bump up my highlight. I'm going to add a little bit of Pixies Glow Mist. One more spray using the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. And soak it all in. This transition look did not take very long at all. All you need is to bring the same eyeshadow palettes with you to wherever you're going. What I used is the My Little Pony palette from ColourPop and the Tarte Lip 2 mainly. All you need are a pair of lashes with you and some eyeliner. You should be good to go. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Until next time, bye!